Working with Stone Cold, who was the one that told you you'd be doing that character with Stone Cold? Let me think. Uh, well, they, they put me on the road and I was, I was traveling with uh, uh, Renee, Rob Conway, Garrison, Cade on Raw. I'm doing uh, house shows. Renee and, Dupree? Yeah, yeah, and dark matches. And uh, I'm trying to remember how they presented that, man. It was in Chicago. Stone Cold had gotten kicked out of the arena. I think Bischoff had put him out the building. And I was standing outside and, uh, excuse me, the gist was like, I went up to talk to him as a starstruck fan, you know? Yeah. And I was like, Stone Cold, I mean, I, I, my dream is to try to make it in wrestling, you know? And I was like, I bought a ticket to come to the show tonight. He's like, oh, you have a ticket? He's like, he's like, come over here, let me talk to you. So basically, he sweet talked me and getting my ticket to get back in. And uh, the next week, I don't actually remember who gave the idea. Uh, Were you excited because he was, oh, yeah. he was just Stone, coming off his big run? Yeah, man. Well, Stone Cold's one of my favorites, and that was raw. So it's live, man. It's like, you know, stress, bro. You know, like, okay, we're going live. Don't screw this up. And the next week, we did another back deal, backstage deal where I gave him the tape to try to look at a petition for a chance, you know. And then I think the following week, I got my trial match, I think from him or the general manager with uh, Hurricane Against La Resistance. And it was in a military town, like, I forget where it was, where they have an army base. It was all military around. And it was cool because La Resistance was hated, you know? Yeah. And we beat them up and I, uh, I went and got the American flag, you know, and everybody was happy. So it was awesome debut, you know? Uh, with the Hayden, uh, you know, that, that was John Hayden, right, guys? Yeah. I didn't have any intro music. I had some generic stuff that Paul Heyman's like, that's terrible. We got to change that. And they made that Hayden Reich song, which was killer. But I. Uh, Heyman was a writer back then? Yeah, yeah. Well, when I went to SmackDown, he was like, when, we, when they reinvented me, he was yeah. like, we're going to get rid of this whole John Hayden Reich thing. You know, we're gonna So what happened, like, with that? First of all, you had yeah, this yeah. gimmick and. Well, yeah, I, I wrestled them and I, I actually did a mixed tag with me and Trish against Victoria and Steve Richards. That, that match went well. That was on Raw and we won. And then uh, I'm trying to think, I did several things with Hurricane. Yeah. You know, backstage things that were funny. Like they were gonna push you. Yeah, Hurricane with Rosie. Remember, he was the reporter guy. Yeah. You know, because they were he was a superhero in training, which we won't say what it stands for, but yeah, <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, and uh, actually, what happened? I, I actually injured. I actually remember I injured my quad. I ha I got a hematoma, and this sounds crazy because no it's a thigh bruise from like something hitting you, pretty violent impact, which forms it can be really bad, you know? Yeah. I actually went, uh, I was in a match with Hurricane. I think maybe, yeah, and, or something. And I, I went to go over the top rope and my leg just, as I went over, I got like stuck and didn't go completely out. And I just rolled down the rope on my thigh. And believe it or not, that force of that rope ended up, by the end of that show that night, I couldn't walk, my leg is full. I thought I had broke my leg, it hurts so bad. And so people don't know it hurts even just hitting the ropes. Oh yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. you gotta develop all your body parts to take that impact, you know? That was just an this example of when you hit that rope wrong, it, it basically gave me like a hematoma like you get in football from a guy hitting you with his helmet. Yeah. Cause I had to, I mean, that's what ended my push right there because I couldn't walk. I had to go to the therapy at Tulane Rehab, uh, Tulane University. And that was like four weeks. I couldn't walk for like two weeks. You know, my legs swole. They took X's because yeah. it wasn't broken, but I was unable to wrestle. I couldn't bend my leg. So that, man, I was very frustrated. because so I was like, oh my God, I hope they don't fire me. You know, I don't want to be gone very long because it's just not good in wrestling to be getting paid yeah. and not being pr productive. But anyway, that, that ended that little Johnny thing. Cause I mean, I had done a lot of vignettes, like stuff with uh, Trish Stratus where she, when I mean, Jericho and her were doing a deal where she's like, oh, don't worry about He's like, yeah, Heidenreich's crazy, man. You shouldn't trust that guy. He's like, oh, don't worry about little Johnny. He's like, what do you mean? He's like, well, he showed me little Johnny, you know? Like, he's like, that's wonky, man. That guy, you know? So the, the, the thing was getting, uh, we were giving vignettes and in-ring stuff with that, but that injury was what, you know, sidelined that.